after fireworks on the 4th of July, and it was an explosive offensive attack for the Tin Caps with 16 hits. July 5th, a bit more subdued, but same results. Another Tin Caps win. And tonight, Fort Wayne did it with pitching, defense, and timely hitting. Yeah, just a, a great start by uh, Austin Smith to come out and throw five good innings, and Castillo and, and Forrest following them up. But, yeah, definitely the defense, when your defense plays and makes great plays behind you as a pitcher, your confidence just grows and grows. Tonight, the Tin Caps had to do it playing from behind. South Bend in the top of the first inning against Tin Caps starter Austin Smith with two outs, got an infield single from Donnie Deweese, and then Eloy Jimenez with a two-out RBI double, and South Bend led one to nothing, a half inning in. Bottom of the second inning, though, and Jonathan Pena changed that with one swing. Pena tonight, Star Financial Bank player of the game, his sixth home run of the season. And the fastest time around of the bases for a home run. But again, coming out of the box, running hard, Hey, you don't know. They'll stop you when they need to, and they did, and he finally got to trot home. Jonathan's trot around the bases, or Vinny Lopez is dancing tonight. I'm not <laughs> sure which is our real play of the day, but Pena wasn't done there. Bottom of the fourth inning with a game locked in one. Two outs again, and he delivered. And remember, that all happened after there were two outs, no one on base. Dunica got hit by a pitch, and he got from first to third on the green single, and Pena brought them both in. Yeah, I mean, just good base run in there. And, you know, 10 caps taken, Zunica taking the chance to go to third, which defies all of baseball that you're not supposed to make the third out at third. But uh, he got there, and then it's a huge hit. Austin Smith, terrific for his five innings. Then Jose Castillo had three scoreless. Nathan Forrest made it a little bit interesting in the ninth inning by loading the bases, but appropriately the game ended with Jonathan Pena catching that fly ball hit by Jesse Hodges on the warning track in right. So the Tin Caps victorious, Fort Wayne improving to 6-7 in the second half of the season. Back over 500 now overall this year at 42 and 41. Pretty quickly played game tonight. A few less fans than we had last night when it was the third largest crowd in Parkview Field history north of 9,000. But a very pleasant evening to see a Tin Caps win. Oh, very comfortable. You know, 80 degrees game time temp, and uh, I think everybody just kind of, like you said, John, just kind of relaxed and enjoyed the game and didn't have to worry about too many loud booms going on. Kids waiting to run the bases now while we wait for tomorrow night, game three of this series. 7.05 first pitch. The Tin Caps send out the all-star Jacob Nix against the right-hander and Preston Morrison, who they'll be seeing for the first time this year. Our coverage tomorrow night starts here on Comcast Network 81 at 7 o'clock. Hope you can join us for that one. We appreciate you tuning in here tonight. For my partner, Dave Doster, and everyone behind the scenes on our Tin Caps TV crew, this is John Nolan saying thank you and so long from Parkview Fields. This has been a Tin Caps production.